By now, most people are aware of the simulation hypothesis, and may even be familiar with Nick Bostrom's compelling 2003 paper entitled The Simulation Argument. If that's new to you, I'll leave a link to his work below. It's a solid argument, one I believe may be responsible for convincing the likes of Elon Musk and Neil deGrasse Tyson of its conclusions. I've often heard it said that there's no point in dwelling on the question because it's neither falsifiable nor provable. But what if it was? I want to introduce you to someone that I believe has the best chance of answering the question of whether or not we do indeed exist in a simulation. Physicist Thomas Campbell. Campbell is perhaps the most outspoken when it comes to simulation theory, but he is rarely referenced in simulation argument discussions. Campbell is a highly sought after physicist who has pulled out of retirement more than once for his talents. He's a traditionally schooled physicist whose most recent employer, prior to retiring from traditional work, was NASA, and who spent 20 years of his career significantly contributing to the development of US missile defense systems. He has developed a theory he calls My Big Toe, or My Big Theory of Everything. Quoting from Campbell's wiki, In February of 2003, Tom published the My Big Toe trilogy, which represents the results and conclusions of a scientific exploration of the nature of existence. This overarching model of reality, mind, and consciousness explains the paranormal as well as the normal, places spirituality within a scientific context, solves a host of scientific paradoxes, and provides direction for those wishing to personally experience an expanded awareness of all that is. Campbell does not only claim we exist in a digital construct, but also claims he understands the entire system, its meaning, and more importantly, its purpose. He's written several works on the matter and produced numerous videos for YouTube on the subject. Many are quick to call Campbell's work pseudoscience, but I'm not convinced of that. Campbell comes across as an incredibly genuine and intelligent person who is not actively selling his books or other works. They are available for sale, but you'd be hard pressed to find his official sales pitch. For transparency's sake, I should say I have no connection to Tom Campbell and do not profit in any way by speaking about him. In 2019, he raised over 250,000 American via a crowdsourcing campaign to fund experiments he says will lay to rest the age-old question of whether matter creates mind or mind creates matter by taking a different approach to the double slit experiment. If you are not familiar with the double slit experiment, I'll link some resources in the description below. It's perhaps the most misunderstood and controversial experiment to date. People have drawn wildly different conclusions from the data it produces. Some say it proves that consciousness plays a major role in creating the reality around us, while others insist there is a more mundane explanation, but they still have a hard time describing even that. From a request for information via Campbell's nonprofit organization, the Center for Unification of Science and Consciousness, Campbell explicitly states the goal of his experiments. It states, The experiments are designed to provide evidence for or against the hypothesis that our reality is information-based, or in other words, that we are living in a computed virtual reality. I'll leave another link below. He goes into great detail about his experiments on his websites. Campbell, on May 5th of 2020, gave an update on his experiments. He admitted the experiments are taking longer than he anticipated, however still implied that he would have results within months. He has recruited an impressive team of scholars and scientists, has access to a professional lab, and has already started acquiring and assembling the equipment required to run the sensitive experiments. As I stated earlier, Campbell not only believes we exist in a simulation, but he also claims to know the meaning and purpose of it as well. Campbell's claims are extraordinary to say the least but I haven't gone too far into his theory of everything yet. I'm going to attempt to summarize it now. Hold on tight. Campbell believes that consciousness is a fundamental force propping up reality. He claims that we are avatars, playing a cosmic video game that we knowingly submit ourselves to from a higher plane of existence. So, not only is this a simulation, but we are the creators of it, only we have willingly forgot as such so that we can enjoy the game authentically. He states we are here to learn about love, and that once we move on from this plane, we choose to come back in a different avatar, much like reincarnation. In this life, I'm a B-plus nerd with a fascination with the odder things in this world, while my next life I could be a peasant girl in 300 BC working rice fields in what is today rural China. Again, 
These are extraordinary claims, and I do not think Campbell's experiments can prove his entire theory. But, if he is able to prove that everything is information-based, like famed physicist Max Planck alluded to in his work, then many in the scientific community will have to take another look at their notes. 2020 has already been a momentous year. I find it amazing that there's actually a chance that by the end of this year, we will have conclusive evidence supporting the notion that we exist in a virtual reality. My thoughts. To be clear about my stance, after a significant amount of effort, I am all but convinced that we do in fact exist in a simulation or digital construct of some sort. I didn't come to this conclusion via Campbell's work though. What ultimately convinced me that we are most probably existing in a digital simulation was after I was introduced to information theory. A vocal proponent of information theory was another physicist, John Wheeler, the man who coined the term black hole. Wheeler said the universe had three parts. First, everything is particles. Second, everything is fields. And third, everything is information. Wheeler, like Campbell, believed in a participatory universe where consciousness holds a central role. I challenge you to find anything in our universe that is not information-based, or rather able to be represented by zeros or ones. Here's a hint. I don't think you can. Well, except for maybe consciousness itself, which would support Campbell's claim that consciousness is fundamental to our existence. In closing, I like to code. I don't think that I am any good at it, but I like the challenge. One of the first projects I undertook, once I got the basic syntax under my belt, was coding a simulated store. I used random number generators and probability to simulate everything from foot traffic to customer purchases. I find it curious that the first thing I wanted to do was simulate a real-world system. I didn't code a game or automate some mundane task. I, with my limited skill set, simulated a real-world system. As such, I don't find it improbable that given enough time, we will be able to create simulations indiscernible from what we perceive as reality today. In fact, I find it probable. If we do exist in a simulated reality, then God may very well be a computer coder. And if that's the case, wouldn't it be rational to say that coding, no matter how complex, is a bit like God's work? Thank you for listening. If you like my work, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. And remember, love is the answer, whatever that means.